What's up everybody? So today I'm at Priority Honda with the all new 2016 10th generation Honda Civic Coupe. Huge shout out to Priority Honda for providing this vehicle for today's video. Be sure to check out their website in the description below. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up, click on that subscribe button down below, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. And the model we're looking at today is an EX turbo model finished off in energy green. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Underneath the hood is a 1.5 liter, four cylinder intercooled turbocharged engine. It produces 174 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 162 foot pounds of torque at 1,700 RPM. The turbo produces 16.5 PSI and is paired to a CVT transmission. The power is sent to the front wheels and with a curb weight of 2,900 pounds, it can achieve 31 miles per gallon in the city and 41 miles per gallon on the highway. And that's all on a 12.4 gallon fuel tank. The overall wheelbase is 106.3 inches and has a height of 54.9 inches. Starting with the front end of the vehicle, this has a much sharper appearance than the previous generation. Large chrome piece in the center of the grille. Got your fog lights. Sharp angles in the lower portion of the front bumper. Very bold and aggressive comparing it to previous generations. Coming up to the side of the vehicle, this has a really cool looking profile. This has some sharp angles along the door handle, same with the lower portion. Chrome trim along the top of the windows. And on the passenger side, you do get a camera in the mirror. For the wheels, these are the 17 inch wheels all around with a silver and black two-tone color. Ventilated discs up front and solid discs in the rear. And moving on to the rear end of the vehicle, you have the all new taillight design. Unlike the sedan, this has a piece going along the entire top, kind of integrated as a spoiler. Get more aggressive lines down low. Black lower diffuser. Very sharp looking car. The all new exterior design is a huge upgrade from the previous Honda Civics. They've added much more sharp angles. Great styling for the coupe to give it nice proportions. Awesome bold coloring, especially in this green color. Loads of standard features. Once we get into the interior, we'll check them all out. And overall, this is definitely an awesome looking car. The car also features a remote start system. You lock the car and then just hold down the engine start button and it automatically will start up. And then to shut the car down, you just hold the button again. And with the key in my pocket, all I have to do is grab the handle, automatically unlocks, and then to lock it, just press the button. The interior of this vehicle is finished off in a gray and black two-tone. Along the door, you have gray cloth, and then black cloth for the armrest, power windows and all your lock buttons, grab handle and door release, a little bit of storage and your trunk release. The seats are two-tone gray and black, with a cool carbon fiber design in the center, Nice looking bolstering, manual adjustments for this trim level. Now inside the vehicle you're greeted by a very nice looking steering wheel with a perforated feel on the top and the bottom. Thick bolstering is great to hold. You have all your Bluetooth and audio controls on the left side, then all your cruise control on the right side. Now if I go ahead and double tap the engine start button, turns on the digital display. You get your speed and your tack in the center along with your gear up top. Engine temperature on the left side, and then your fuel level on the right. So now I'll go ahead and press my foot on the brake and start it up. And then engaging reverse, the standard rear backup camera appears. And you can change the different looks, looking straight down, a narrow view, and then a super wide angle view. And then pressing the button on the stock on the left side, 
we'll go ahead and turn the camera on on the side mirror so you can see who's in your blind spot. And the same will happen if you turn your turn signal on going to the right. On the left side you have your traction control button, some air vents along the dash, your center air vents, then your touchscreen navigation display, all your audio controls, touchscreen as well. Get your heated side mirrors along with the rear defroster, heated seats. Down in the center you have your leather shift boot, your eco mode as well as an electronic park and brake. And then you get a cup holder down here and this armrest slides forwards and back. And then this piece also slides forward. And then grabbing the handle you can lift up the armrest, reveals quite a bit of space down below. You can easily fit some storage in there cup holders move as well and in front of the shifter you also get a nice amount of storage space and then down below a good amount of space there as well check out the two-tone seats again as well as the nice looking door panel with some aluminum trim then for the glove box get a great amount of space down in there very updated dash comparing it to previous generations with great lines on it Cool colors with the silver accents. Rear seats are also two-tone with the same fabric. Black headliner with your power sunroof. And then all your sunroof buttons up top with your dome lights. So let's take a quick ride in the new Civic. This color looks awesome with this bright green in the sun. Pull the trigger up. Engage drive, great thumb bolsters for your hands. The visibility is really nice in this car. I can easily see out of the front, even see some of the lime green. The mirrors do a great job letting me know what's behind me. I'm looking over my right shoulder, good amount of visibility. Same with the left shoulder. So very nice to look out of. Driving the car, the steering wheel is very light. It's easy to steer the car and point it into the correct direction. Seems to handle pretty nimble, very light on its toes. And with the turbo engine, you do get that low torque to get you up and going. So you have no issues with getting this car up on the highway or just merging with some heavy traffic. Now let's go ahead and open up the door with the ergonomic door handle. Check out the rear seats as well as the trunk. In the rear end of the car, you get some nice looking seats, extremely comfortable, great amount of legroom, and great amount of headroom as well. To go ahead and check out the trunk space, you can either use the key fob, the button on the door, or just go ahead and press the button on the back. Trunk will pop open. You have about 12 cubic feet of cargo space back here, and the rear seats do fold down flat. Excellent amount of space back in here. Now we'll go ahead and check out the interior from the passenger side. Awesome looking door panel. Some great colors. The dash has been nicely updated with some cool styles. Nice amount of storage space with the glove box and the lower storage with a large center console as well. The Honda Civic has always been one of the most popular American cars with some of the best gas mileage in an economy car. For 2016, they've gone all out adding some much needed styling characteristics, giving this car a fantastic look. Bold lines, sharp edges, very sleek profile, and some awesome looking colors. And pairing this car with the all new turbocharged engine, it retains the excellent gas mileage you would expect in a Honda Civic, but you get the added performance. Well there you go everybody, that is a full walk around and review of the all new 10th generation Honda Civic Coupe. I'm really impressed with the car, it's got some great looking exterior styles, sharp lines everywhere, bold colors and just a bold looking car, very cool comparing it to the previous generations. Huge thank you once again to Priority Honda for providing this vehicle for today's video. Be sure to check out their website in the description below. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below, like our Facebook page, and follow us on Instagram. And I'll see you all next video.